what is going on people Twin J again from Caesar graphics welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified when i post my tutorial so this is what we're going to be doing today and we are going to be using the two options from the transform adjustment to achieve this and then the background we're using for this project i'm going to drop a link in the description section to where you can get this um image all right so let's drive into today's tutorial I already designed my um, the front and back of my complementary card so this is the front and this is the back okay so I'm gonna bring in the image that I um, was gonna be using for the background I need to create a new document to um, for this project so we're gonna be using the um, I'm gonna be using 900 by 900 for this project um, um, resolution should be 300 and I'm just gonna say Right, and I'll ask to bring in a background which is this. I'm just going to drag it and drop like so. As it is, it's looking too big, so I'm going to zoom out with control minus and I'll convert this to a smart object. And reduce this control T. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to drop it like so, and um, let's bring in our card. So I'm just going to shift select the two layers, I'll drag this and drop. And I'll convert the two layers to a smart object. So I'm just going to scale it. So it's going to scale it down. All right. Then um, I'll make it this be on top of this. And I'll just position it here like so. But we're going to have another copy of this layer. So I'm going to just drag and drop to, to have a backup of it. And I'll shift select the three layer now and I'll hit Ctrl T or Command T on my keyboard. And first, we need to rotate this. So I'm just going to um, rotate like so. All right. Just going to um, zoom out. And I'll right click and select this dot. And I'll push this down like so. All right. Now, I would advise you don't overdo this so as to not to. Um, um, kill the beauty of the card because when you do this like when you make it look like this people won't be able to see the information on the card so i advise you don't make it go down too much so i'm just going to make it i'm just going to stop here like so and i'm going to hit enter i'm going to select the layer of the background and i'll hit ctrl t or command t on my keyboard and i'll hold on alt because i'm using photoshop cc 2020 and i'm going to scale this big like so and i'm going to zoom in like this all right now the next thing is for us to now um, start adding depth to this. So first, I'm going to hold down Control and create a marquee of back of my card, and I'll create a new layer by holding on Alt and click, and I'll call this um, card. Like this. All right, then I'll pick a shadow, a lighter shade of um, black something grayish all right like this that's not too much like so and i'll hold on alt and click to fill this with um to fill the layer with the color then i'll push this down with just one click with my um arrow key on my keyboard Do the same thing for the front all right so i'm just going to hold down control again and i'll hold on alt to bring out the new layer um, option and I'm going to just call this card like this again just use the same color so I'm just going to just do something similar like this and I'll hit off backspace I'll hit ok so I'm using my up and down arrow key on my keyboard to move the edges of the card down all right now if you look at it now you see we're beginning to have uh, more um depth on the card and um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a marquee selection again of the um card uh, of the card edges and i'll create a new layer so i'll call this shadow all right then um i'll choose black i'll fill this with black 
so I'm just going to go to filter now, blur, then Gaussian blur. Like that. So I'm just going to make this go down like so. Then reduce the opacity just a little bit. Then change this to multiply to create a shadow for the back of our card. So I'm going to hold on um, control on the edges again of the card and I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll call this shadow again. So I'll just say two for this one. And I'll fill this with the color of my foreground again. And I'll click on filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. I'll leave the setting the way it is. I'm just going to use my up and down arrow key on my keyboard to um, move the shadow to the position where I want it. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the shadow just a little bit. Now, there's something I want to do here. I wanted this to look more real. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just going to push the shadow of the um, the shadow of the front down a little bit. So I'm going to hit Ctrl T or Command T on my keyboard to bring out the transform option. And this time I'm just going to select warp. In the older version of Photoshop, when you click on the warp option, you're going to see some lines here. Because this is 2020, so you're gonna you're not go, you have to be the one to create those um, lines yourself. So I'm just gonna hold down Alt and click, all right, to create the line, and I'm just gonna drag this down like so. All right, then I'll create another point here, and this one need to just go up a little bit, and I'll hit Enter. Okay, now as you can see, we have a beautiful uh, mock-up of um, a complementary card. Then I'm going to merge visible of all the layer to I'm going to hold down Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E. But for Mac users, what you just need to do is to hold down Command, Option, Alt, Shift, and E. So I'm going to go to Filter now and I'll go to Blur Gallery and I'll select um, Field Blur. Then I'm going to zoom in. So for this one, I'm just going to say no. And I'll position this here and I'll add another point again. And I'll push this here because doing this is going to make it look more like it's actual. Uh, it's actually real. So I'm just going to increase the. Um, so what am I doing? I'm creating depth, what we call depth of field on the cards. So I'm just going to position this. Oops, that's too much. All right. So I'm just going to position this here, like so. And I'll reduce the opacity. I mean, I'll reduce the blur strength to something around this size, and I'll hit OK. Then, if I zoom out now, you see we're beginning to have more depth on it. So I've got the last thing I'm going to do now is to add curve to this. All right, and just down like so. Let's move on like so. And yeah. So, all right so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and um, if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace